So the meme of the year, according to BuzzFeed, there's a, a guy called Nicholas Fraser who created a 15 second video of Vine. Why are you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop, stop lying. You could be anywhere in the world and people would understand what you made. I loved Nicholas Fraser and I hope he made obscene amounts of money from that. Ah, get out of here for real, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shish, I'm saying. Get in Ibu. The funniest thing this year has got to be President Jacob Zuma trying to tell us the number of ANC members. He just couldn't get it right, eh, could he? It was the second time. It was funny. You play it every time, it's going to be funny. This in property. 769. 820 <coughs> yeah. well, uh, and seven. The funniest thing I've heard this year, I suppose, is anything and everything that comes out of Donald J. Trump's mouth. And it makes me appreciate Jacob Zuma as our president. Hey, I'm not saying they're stupid. I like China. I just sold an apartment for $15 million to somebody from China. Am I supposed to dislike it? I think 2015 will go down as that year when we found out how childish our parliamentarians can be. You know English properly. Can a man can only come and say, oh, come, come, come. <laughs> as if one was adjudicating uh, a confrontation between children at nursery school and I think that's even an insult to children in nursery school. I think the funniest thing I've seen this year was our Minister of Police putting out this video with opera music showing the fire pool in action and pretending to take it seriously and at the same time mopping his brow because it was obviously such nonsense. And, and I think in, in, in some ways there's lessons there because when people are trying to defend the indefensible, it is funny. And I think that's where we've got to use humor and jump on board because it was ridiculous. 